Good evening, Jeffrey Tears. Jeffrey here again. Like I said in my last video, I have got this baby. The Flash. Oh, yes. We got the Flash from DC Collectibles. Would you take a look of that? What a fantastic. It's got on there. DC Core Flash. Oh. DC Collectibles from the source. Direct from the source, I should say. Let's do a review on the box first, as you usual. We have got. Obviously, DC. Uh, well, it's red, obviously. There's nothing. It's just plain colours, really. I'm going on the back. I'm going on the back. That's the one we got. The Flash PVC. It's a 9 inch premium PV statue that appeals to the fans of DC and its core creators. Excellent. This is from, I don't know what lot, this is from DC Collectibles, obviously it's from the, the, the comics, I take it. I like the Flash, he's pretty good. I like him, I like him a lot. Oh, you can other ones you can get Batman. Um, I don't know who that is. I'm joking, it's Wonder Woman. Um, Batgirl. And that's the statue who we got. So hang on, my measures approximate. Why have they got? It says nine inch premium statue, but on this side it measures approximately ten inches high. Hmm. Okay. Right, we've got round and round and round we go. We're gonna open this beast again. Obviously, being what it is, I've noticed it's been sealed, but not factory sealed. They've just got some stupid sellotape on there. Has this been opened? The bottom's the same. I bought this from a legit source around the 50 bucks again I'm gonna open this one from the top this time because I'm not planning on selling this one anyway because I like the flash cut that there steady on steady on oh I'm still doing this it's the same take but different video from Aquaman I would have put two of them in the same shot, but um, it takes too long. Well, not take too long. It yeah, the, the audience gets bored after ten minutes. I noticed, so I got to keep the video short to prove it. That's Aquaman. <laughs> oh, I like it a lot. Oh right then. There you go. Oh, oh, that opens at the side there as well. I'm not going to open that one at the side. That should sleepy diddy out there, which it is. I should get on the back, really. Breaking my set again. Oh, that, get, get back. That's it. All right, what's holding all this crap in now? Can I get that out? Oh, yeah. Oh, this has not been set. This is... I hope it's not an X display because it will be going back to the shop. You can always tell if it is because it'll have a dust on it. But I don't think. No, look at that. The flash got the Flash logo in the back of the box there. Oh, Aquaman had an Aquaman logo at the back as well, which was pretty cool. You stay there, Flash. Don't you run off. Put that behind me. I don't think it's been opened because obviously you've got those tabs there and they're a nightmare to put back on. Again, I've got to cut them off. Why have I got to bloody cut them off? Oh, burr. there's two on there. Oh, my God. I don't like cutting these off. It's funny. This is from. They must be the same company from um, Diamond Select and the DC Collectibles was on the same line because these. Clips it's very similar. I wonder. 
Oh, I'll have to research that, I think. Oh, there's one. Always cut the, the tabs from behind. You don't want to cut from the front because you might risk cutting the statue. And you don't want that. Definitely not want that. Anyway. Take that out of the way. Move that car up there. Drink this here. Right. That's that's bad boy there. <clears throat> and there you go. Do you know what I can bring his baby closer, can I? Because he's I don't I don't think Barry Allen this is this is Barry Allen by the way. He's short anyway, I think. They're all, all the flashes are short, are they? They're not as tall as Superman. I don't think anyway. Right. Look at that, I have Panas around. He's looking at you, kid. Right, we're going around. Right, we'll start from the base, eh? Let's start with. Right, the base is pretty good. I don't know if you can see it, it obviously it's a, I don't know what that is, a concrete, is it supposed to run it? Tarmac? Right, if, you, if I just lift it up, you won't be able to see it. If you can see, there's a flash logo. Running through the street there. I suppose that's running flash and he's well no he's not running. By the looks of it he's starting to run. He's not he's not running to it, he's starting to run. So obviously the flash starts like that I presume. Yeah, he's starting to run. This pose has got a bit of dust on there, look. Is that dust? Yeah, dust. I like this pose because he's leaning over like he's gonna run. He's a runner, isn't he? He's a runner. Yeah, the base is good. And look at the bottom, DC collectibles. Yeah. Obviously, it's got the stamped on the bottom. DC collectibles, Mark and Patrick in China. DC Comics and all various numbers there. Part numbers are good to go on there. Right, the base is pretty good. It's just, it could have made it a little bit better, like the Aquaman. Like, the, the footprint could be a little bit more. You know what I mean? It's well balanced. I mean, it's not going to tip over. Nothing out of you. It's not going to tip over. Um, I believe this is from the rebirth as well. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, just comment below and correct me. Yeah. Right. We're we'll starting from the bottom. Like we've done, done the base. Right. The boots. Flash boots is I would like to see. Obviously, if it's I'm not sure if it's screen accurate. I'm not or comic book accurate. I'm not sure, but I would like to see some lightning bolts off his boots or some like st static going on as he's running. Um, there is on the Justice League Diamond Select Flash got all that going on, which is pretty good. But yeah, so we'll start with the boots. I'll just bring this closer and put it down. There you go. Right, his boots. Let's go for the um, touch ups or paint work. God knows what on this. Uh, again, there's a bit of dust on there. I must have been to the factory. Right, we've got a bit. Uh, it's been hand painted well. I mean, the yellow's not mixing up. With the red, which is fantastic, which is great. We we'll just look closely at this. There is, by the looks of it, it's one. What's this one? No, it's not actually. It's one. One. Two, three. Yeah, this three pieces put the three pieces put together. This statue is. I can see the seam is. I mean, you've got one continuous make from his foot to his shoulder and his two arms, I believe it or not, is all in one. But his leg's been attached. You can see the seam around his leg, around his leg there, around, and his bum crack. Right there, you see it? Zoom up. It's the seam on this leg here. You can see the seam around his leg, around his bum crack there 
around. But, but it's fine. It's fine. There's no paint spillage anywhere. What I can see are his legs. The lines are pretty good. Muscle tones pretty good. Oh, I can see another seam there that I don't like that. To see that. I don't know if you can see it in a statue. There where the two halves of the leg is put together. You can see the seam at the top there. You can't notice it really, but I've just noticed it picked up. But yeah, we're going around. Again, this is a never superhero. He's Tallywhacker. Why not? Well, then again, if he had a, if he had a link for Krusty, he, he, he won't be able to run faster than him, would he? So yeah, DC collectibles, put more balls in the drawers. Ah, make it look like a man. Right, I'm going around again. Back again at the back. Paintwork's pretty good, pretty seamless. Good. His so-called flash belt. A bit of dust again on that. I don't think it's... No, it's not an X display. It'd be dust at the top, wouldn't it? And faded. But that's just factory dust. From the mode I'd take it. But yeah. The belt's good. Torso... Yeah, muscles in his stomach. His abdomen, 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 abdomen. It's good. He's, um, lightning bolt. His chest pretty good. You're not going to see it because I ain't got the camera up. Got a fly in this room. It's bugging me. It was the kids. There was the flies. Yep. Yeah. Nice flash symbol there, which is pretty good. Arms, pretty, pretty good. Paintwork's good. Got some sort of residue on his arm there. I have to get some IPA. Or well, might be able to scratch it off and ruin the statue by doing that. But good. Yeah, a bit of um, residue on there. Hands, pretty good. Yeah, hands, pretty good. Yeah. We've got to the face. Let's bring this baby closer. There you go. No expense spared. All right. Then. Oh no, I don't want it over there because you will see my background. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see this. Right. And pan up again a bit more. I don't know if you can. can you see that, folks? If you can see that, folks, thumbs up. Yeah. Right on. we got his face. His face is goddamn good. Look at that for his face. That's pretty good. And he's got the flash on his ears. Flash was on his ears. Let me see how temperamental they are. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good actually, that's pretty good. Yeah. Classic Barry Allen, which is good. His face is pretty good. No paint spillage on his face again, which I like. That's what I like to see. Nothing spill. When you get too close, obviously it looks a bit. Bleh. But from a distance, I mean, you're not gonna any statue on your shelf. Nobody ain't gonna put their eyeballs on the statue or touch them, are they? They're gonna keep like two or three feet away. And then the statue looks awesome. That's going to go bright the place on one of my shelves in my um, collection. Which I have other stuff in my collection. If you wish to see, I'm on about it again, and I I'm on about it again. I'll do it one day. I'll do a statue room tour one of these days. It's just going to take so long if I do it. I will do one day. But yes, this is the classic Flash Barry Allen. Let me put him back a bit. Back too far. Zoom in. There you go. I put him there. <clears throat> Give you one more twirl of the flash. It is beautiful. Look at that. I don't know where I'm gonna put put him as in the stance and where. I might put him that on that angle there. That's it. And they look great. 
I mean, I'll give Aquaman, I think I'll give Aquaman 10 out of 10, uh, 9 out of 10, I think. I'm going to give this one, as for a DC collectible, for the price, I did say around about the 50 bucks, didn't I? This one, I'm going to give 9.5 out of 10. If you're thinking about buying it, if you are a Flash or DC fan, thumbs up from me. It's a fantastic one. That's all we've got time for this time. Thank you very much everybody. Please comment below, like this video and please subscribe. And you see me next time. Jeffrey out.